Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alright, so we are going to continue our lab with the lab sheet number two. Okay, in lab sheet number two, we are going to do connection in series and parallel circuit. So the uh, figure one is in series circuit, and in figure two it is the uh, parallel connection. Okay, parallel connection. So you are going to measure by using digital multimeter. You are going to measure the current, which is I one, I two, and I three. Okay. Um. So, and you also need to measure the V one, V two, and V three. Okay. Uh. Same goes to parallel connection. You are going to measure the I. Sorry, I, I2, I4, I1, and I, I3. So, same goes to voltage. You get to measure V1, V2, and V3. Okay. So, as usual, you are going to use the tinker cat. Okay. So, open up your tinker cat and select the resistor which has been uh, stated in the lab sheet, which is R1 is 1 kilo ohm, R2 is 3.9 kilo ohm, whereas R3 is 6.8 kilo ohm. Okay, so the connection must be like this, uh, which is, which is uh, the series connection. So what you need to do is, firstly, uh, you need to connect uh, the power supply. Okay, select the power supply. This is the power supply. I name it as uh, power supply 1. So the voltage must be 5 volts, okay, uh, the current also set is as 5, alright, so connect the circuit, the probe to the positive, uh, positive probe to the positive point, okay, so uh, to ensure you are not going to confuse, so we change the positive to red and the negative terminal to black. Okay, right. Okay, so next is okay. Five volt DC is connected to R one. So this is the R one. R one is one kilo ohm. This is the R two. R two is uh, three point eight kilo ohm. Whereas R three is six point eight kilo ohm. So the connection is positive power supply connected to R one. So take this point connect to R. So you need to uh, positive power supply, and next is R one is connected to R R two. The other one is R two is connected to R three, and lastly is another leg of R three is connected to negative power supply. Okay, this is the uh, the complete circuit. Okay, so why I did uh, connect it this way? Okay, because of it is easy for me to locate the uh, multimeter when we are going to measure the current. Okay, it's up to you. It's up to you whether you want to connect um, the circuit in your style. It's okay, but make sure it is for, easy for you to measure the current. Okay, it's because the location of the multimeter must be in between um, resistor to resistor. Okay, so firstly, let us um, let us revise uh, for parallel uh, series connection circuit. Okay, as you know, as you learned before, for the series connection circuit. Okay, uh, we know that from the theory. All right, uh, the current will be same. The value of the current for each point will be same. Let's say I1, the current must be uh, equal to I2, then is equal to I, I3. Okay. Whereas for the voltage, okay, V, okay, V at the supply is equal to, or we name it as a V total, V at the supply, equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. Okay, 
So now we are going to prove that this theory is correct. So what you need to do is this is the um, multimeter number one, digital multimeter number one. Make sure if you want what type of measurement that you need to do. Let's say I want to do a voltage. I want to measure a voltage. Okay, so connect the positive terminal. Connect it to the positive point of the resistor. Okay, change it to the red. Next is negative point. Connect it to the negative point of the resistor. Next is change it to the black. Okay, we do it for one resistor first. Right, so start the simulation. Okay, so the value must be 427 milli volt. Okay, so next is we are going to check for the resistor number 2. Okay, so positive point must be connected to the positive terminal of the resistor. Change it to the red. And the negative terminal is connected to the negative point of the resistor. Change it to the black. Whereas for this um, multimeter, for V3 is connected to here. Okay, so it is quite... Change it to the red, and next is for the negative terminal is connected to the this point. Okay, so change it to the black. Okay, right. So we move a little bit. Um, sorry. Uh, change the direction. No, change the of the this one. Uh, okay, this is quite confused doing that way. So, this is the positive terminal. So, plant it here, change it to the right negative terminal, put it here, and black. Okay, so make sure this is voltage, this one is also voltage. Okay, whereas you will get, you will get zero. Uh, as a result, okay, so start simulation. All right, so this V1 is 427 millivolt, V2 is 1.67 volt, whereas for V3 is 2.91 volt. So, total up these three, you must get uh, around 5 volts, okay? So, you can have a try, okay? Okay, next. I want to show you how to measure the current. Okay, it is a little bit confusing to measure the current. Okay, so okay, so let's uh, do this one first because we are going to measure the current. Okay, to measure the current. We need to look at the diagram, okay. I1 is in between positive power supply to uh, first leg of the R1. So, it is here, positive power supply and the leg of R1. So, this cable must be deleted because current is the flowing of charge. If it is a flowing of charge, means that your measurement equipment must be in between uh, the point of the the must be in between of the measure, measurement point, okay. But I meant is in between the measurement point, okay. So we put this positive point here and okay, change it to the red and negative point is here, okay. This is black, all right. So you can start the simulation, okay. Sorry. Uh, don't forget to change it, this to amperage. Okay, so start the simulation. And you will get 7, uh, 4 to 7 micro ampere. Okay, okay, let's do for the other current. Okay, I2 is in between R1 and R2. Okay, so this cable, um, we need to delete this cable first. Okay, take out this cable. 
and connect V. Okay. Connect V. Multimeter positive connected to this point. Change it to the red and negative is here. Okay. So make sure this is ampere range. Alright. And I3 is in between R2 and R3. So delete this one. Okay, disconnect this leg first. You have to delete the, the, the cabling because of it. It's going to be a plus second if you do not uh, do that. Okay. Positive must be here. Change it to the red. Positive must be here. Change it to the black. Okay, so make sure everything is in amperage. Okay, amperage, amperage, amperage. Okay, so you can start the simulation. Okay, so you can see uh, the results is same for all three current. So the theory is I1 is equal to I2 equal to I3 is proven. Okay, so that's all for series circuit. So we are going to continue with the parallel circuits in the next video. Thank you.